Okay. On Sound of the Forest to watch yet another fantastic production by the Red Rose Chain. Now, some of our viewers had spotted them in our Fiesta Carnival recently, but I am actually joined by Joe, Joe Carrick. And Joe, you are? I'm playing the part of Goneril this evening. I also double it with the part of Gloucester as Gloucester. well. Gloucester. But you are, in fact, do you have you sort of directed this one this time? Yes, I'm the direct artistic director of Red Rose Chain, and I've directed this show. I direct all the shows for Red Rose Chain. You do. And how has this production gone so far? Oh, it's, it's been how, wonderful. It's how many nights has it been on? It's a 25 night run this yep. year, and um, we're getting we've we have four shows left, so we're getting towards the end of our run, and it's been extremely successful this year with uh, huge audiences, uh -huh. and uh, it was a little bit of a risk. I guess it's one of the most audacious shows we've done because yes. it's a it's a um, big tragedy um, and we have created a kind of tragic comedy out of it mm. that doesn't mean in any s uh, sense of the word that we don't play the play for what it is it's the original Shakespeare yeah. and and it's very much the true meaning of the play but we bring as much light to it as possible and have fun that, with it especially at the beginning yeah, that's something that you're known for isn't it adding a little bit of comedy to it um, yes. Is that quite difficult from my director's point of view to do that to add something? I don't. I don't know if we're adding anything to be honest, because I I think that the plays were written with a lot of gags in that often yeah. get kind of ignored. Um, and if you think about Shakespeare, he was working in the open air in a big space and engaging huge cross section of the community uh -huh. as we are doing. So I think you know getting as much entertainment out of the piece as possible is actually quite true to the origins of yeah. it, as far as I can see. Yeah. And I work collaboratively with my actors. So um, I come up with the, the show that we're going to do and the design and the concept behind it. Uh -huh. And lots and lots of preparation goes into it. But once we get into rehearsals it's all about collaborating as a team yeah. and working together to create something really special so everybody feels a strong sense of possession over it and different actors specialize in different things like one of my actors is a fight director and a couple of them are excellent musicians mm -hmm. and um, another one is a really good songwriter so various different yeah. different parts of, of the job as it were get allocated to different people quite organically as we go. How many are in the cast for this Seven, one? only seven. seven. So is there, you're doubling up, how many others are doubling up? Uh, well there are 15 parts in the play so, so Blimey, I think one, one of the characters, uh, one of the actors plays four characters wow. and, um, and, and a couple of them just play one so it, it, it works slightly unevenly but it, but it when you watch it you kind of don't really know who's no. who because people are doing really quick changes how much rehearsal goes into these production thing because it's it's on every every year at the same time of the year isn't it yes. how often do you rehearse ahead of this time then um the rehearsal period is four and a half weeks mm -hmm. So in very intensive work. And that's also the actors taking the scripts home, learning them at home? No, the, the learning happens before that. So before people that. turn up at the beginning of rehearsals um, having, having learnt their words already. So yeah. you've got the new theatre, I believe. Yes. I know all about it. So would you like to explain to our viewers well, what's going on down on the waterfront? We're based at Gipswick Hall in Ipswich, which is a beautiful Tudor manor house and it's right next to Gipswick Park. Mm -hmm. And behind is a nasty 1960s flat roofed building, which I use for rehearsals and all sorts of events go mm -hmm. on in there. But um, we've applied to, for funding to the Heritage Lottery Fund and we've been awarded a million pounds to build a purpose-built theatre mm -hmm. there, which is going to be like a, a barn at the back of the manor house. It's yeah. a beautiful design and we'll be able to put on shows there um, and also all the groups that we work with in the community, our community theatre company for people recovering from drug addiction yeah. and our activities unlimited group for young people with disabilities, our youth theatre, all the different groups that we work with will be able to enjoy that resource mm. and perform there which is very exciting. It doesn't mean we won't be working in the forest. I was going to say, a, does it stop this? No, no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a counterpoint to the forest. It's yeah. a small intimate space. Yeah. This is a very large arena so for us it will be lovely to have the both of those spaces to work with. Well, it's been thank you very much for having your time. It's a pleasure. It's been absolutely brilliant talking to you. And I won't keep you much longer because I believe you're seating and car parking as well. Yes, <laughs> welcoming people, parking. making sure everybody's okay. <laughs> welcoming people in character is a big thing that we do, and people love coming back mm. year on year because they get a warm welcome here. Yeah. I've seen one of your chaps walking around with a German accent, is that right? It's a French accent. French I'll accent. tell him you he said it was German, he'll love German. that. <laughs> <laughs> German accent, no, that's French. But anyway, Fantastic. Joe, thank you very much thank for you. your time. And I will film a little bit of the show to show everybody what you're all about. That's are there still tickets left? That's the most there are still thing. tickets left for the next three nights after tonight um, yes we've sold very well this this um, summer and we've still got some capacity if people would like to come that would be brilliant fabulous thank okay. you very much once again hope you enjoy what I'm going to film I'm not going to film the whole thing because that will spoil it and after all you've got to come down and watch it but yes thank you very much Joe. thank you take care
<laughs> the self same metal as my sister. <laughs> I be at power. <laughs> In my true heart, she names my very deeds of love. Oh, the 